so next we will show that the bar chart in this section in this bottom of this dashboard okay so here we open the google so here we opening a new browser this is the google.com okay so here we search the google charts this one okay so now you click on this first link developers.google.com okay see here these are the some different charts here so click on this chart gallery link and see there are the many different charts here so we want the some column chart this one so click on this column chart then see after loading this page see this is the basic example column coloring columns this one then this is the column styles difference okay and we are using the columns this one we are using the this this column section in your the application so after this designing the chart see here there is some html code okay so we use this code in your in our application so first of thing we copy this the javascript file in your project okay so this is the www.gstatic.com charts oblique loader.js file so copy this link going to this program okay now you are going to this admin header.php file okay see here this is your the admin header.php file so go to this head tag so before closing this head we paste this link okay this one this one okay now we save these changes again we are going to this browser we copy this script tag this one control c copy we are going to this bracket editor opening the admin section index.php file this one okay now see here after we are going to the bottom of this page see here after this row tag closing this row tag here we create the one more div tag div class equal to row we create the one more row here okay and here we paste all of this google chart data script data so we control v to paste all of this data okay here one more thing is that again going to this browser so see here this is the body tag div tag again we copy this div tag control c again going to this index.php file so after this script here we paste this the div tag okay now we save these changes and test it so see here we refresh this page perfect okay so here we display this google chart so this is again the static data now we convert this data into dynamically okay see here this chart use the fixed width so now here we change the width is equal to auto save these changes see here again refresh okay fine perfect so here we change the some things of this chart here we not necessary to this two messages company performance as well as this sale expenses and profit so we remove these messages again going to this editor so we remove this title keep it blank 
same here remove this subtitle save this changes and see here okay again going to this file so we remove this two data here okay we keep the only two two data then see here what is the changes okay so we remove this comma also so save this changes see here okay now this is the single column data this is the sales now here we want to display this column dynamically and which are related to this post comments users as well as categories again we are going to this code we comment this data okay and inside this block we use the one php script we use the two arrays first one is that the text so we pass the some static text so first we display the only four data so first one is that the post then the comments then the users then the categories and the next one is that the value so here we use this count variable this count variable we already do this code for the every block section so see here first variable is that the post count okay then comment count this variable then user account and the category count okay so we use all of these four variable here so we print the post count then comment count then user count and then category count so we print this array by using the for loop so here we use the i equal to 0 i is less than 4 and the i plus plus we use the echo okay so we print these values like this way this way okay so use this square bracket then this is the first value comma second value okay first value comma second value so second value there is no need to use the single quote so here we print the text of i and here value of i okay and use the comma for the separating all of these values see see here there is a comma at the end of this bracket so test this code save this changes so we refresh this code so i think there is some error again going to this page see here again so we give the comment of this for loop so refresh this code invalid data format must have at least two columns okay so they say that there is a no columns okay see here okay now we add this for loop and refresh this code okay there is some problem in this for loop so see here printing this data so text of i so this is a double quote dot so we separate the variables of this string okay we concat 
this variable and the string by using this dot operator okay see here this string again this string this one now again save these changes we refresh this code parse error line 152 this one see here again dollar text of i we use the comma for the separation dollar value of i oh this closing bracket is in the printing part this one save these changes see here again so we give the single quote of this value also this one okay now we check it save these changes save these changes again going to this browser refresh this code yes perfect now here we remove this code this one save these changes again we refresh this code comments users categories 0 1 2 3 1 0 1 2 3 comments users categories so they're not printing the user section again we refresh this code post underscore count So here we keep the one blank data then we use this one okay so see here this is the post comment users categories so see here this post two post four comments three users and the three categories now we display some more charts like the see here going to this database see here post status publish or the draft status then see your comments approve or the unapproved comments and the users see admin and the subscriber users so we add the some more code see here we copy this script here after this tag okay so here we add this script okay now we change the query select star from post where post status is equal to draft okay so this is the draft count same here we copy this code for the two times we change the query select star from comments where comment status is equal to unapproved then select star from users here we change the variable this is the unapproved count select star from users where user role is equal to subscriber okay so this is the subscriber count So we add these three columns in this chart. See, see here, 
post then next one is that draft post so this is the active post so we change the active post draft post comments then unapprove then users then subscriber okay so we add the count variable post count then the draft count okay comment count then the unapproved count user count then subscriber count then category count now here we replace the number 4 to 7 because here we add the some more columns so save these changes again we test this code so refresh see here two active post zero draft zero two four one three so they change the some orders 3, 1, 2, 0. So check it again here. This is the data and this is the count. Save. See here again. So we remove this single quote. Save these changes. Refresh. See active post 2, draft 0, comment 4, 1, 3, 1, 3. Okay, perfect. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we cross check again. So see here. So in post, these two posts are the published. No post is a draft. Okay, see there is no draft post. There, there are total four comments and the one unapproved. See, total four, so one is unapproved. Then see, there are total three users and one is that the subscriber. See, one is that the subscriber. And this is the three categories. Perfect. Okay. So here we finish this the admin dashboard home page. So here the CMS application is look like the more pretty and very beautiful. Okay. So students test this code on your machine. See here again. So I have again show you this code from this first line to last line. See, this is the index.php file in admin section. This is the navigation, this one. Okay. So, you can paste the new code, see here, you can paste the new code from this new tag to end, see here, here we add the one PHP script to printing the post count, same here, we use the comment count, then here user count then category count okay then here we use the one more script to printing the draft count unapproved count and the subscriber count okay and this is your the google chart code okay and here we use this code here this is the data and the count this is the text array value array and we print this array by using this for loop okay so here we finish this task okay so students test this code on your machine if you have any queries that comment or query in comment box like send subscribe the channel see you on next video thank you